Uh, good evening everybody, welcome to uh, South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters uh, uh, tonight, uh, we're out on location over in Waffer, uh, is it Waffer or oh, Waffer Pond Dern, uh, we're next door to, uh, oh gosh, blinking hellfire, damn where we're next door to, oh Waff Town Hall, that's it. <laughs> So we're down at St. James's Church uh, in, uh, in Woff tonight, uh, uh, going to do about an hour investigation here. We're hoping to go on to different locations tonight around Rotherham. Uh, so uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy these videos. Uh, so uh, you've got myself here and uh, you've also got Diane here as well. We suppose I've had Bev here tonight with us but uh, Bev hasn't... Uh, answered us about coming tonight so we're here on the zone and it's a very warm muggy night uh, for September uh, the weather is we're having an Indian summer at the moment and it is red hot uh, it's been hot now for about a week anyway it's uh, 9 o'clock the church is the bells is just ringing Excuse me. Oh, I thought it would have gone ding, ding, about nine times like uh, big benders in London. So, uh, Diane's down here. <coughs> so, oh, this was a bit late, weren't it? There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The bells, <laughs> Esmeralda, the bells, sanctuary. <laughs> Put up the top and chuck some bread off. Yeah, yeah, that's it. There's an ancient tradition here that they chuck bread off the top for the Yeah. Um, I think when we were... Uh, they reenact it every, every year. Yeah, they do a reenactment, don't they? Uh, mm. uh, some uh, ritual <coughs> that they do. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think anyone quite knows exactly the correct story behind it. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, I've seen when we've been in, uh, what, uh, in uh, Wolf Hall, Wolf Town Hall, there's loads of hundreds of crosses, so I think that has something to do with it as well. You know what yeah. I mean? So, have you got a bit of history for us, Diane? Yeah. Um, About uh, St. James's? Oh, not St. James's, what you meant, these coffins. Oh, right. Oh, well, Ooh. yep. We're at. Uh, I was looking at the, it's the coffins. Um, yeah, the uh, the coffins. The Amphra? Amphra pod. Amph yeah. Amphropods or something. That means human shaped. Yep. Yeah. Dates back to medieval times. Yep. But also they said that you know the Egyptians were where the Egyptians did their uh, sarcophaguses with their faces on. Yep. Yeah. Um, what we researched last time was, I think Jackie found out, that it was mainly for noble, particularly men. Yeah. But it was for people with money. Nobility. Nobility. People yeah. got money, you know, and obviously because priests, that sort of thing, doctors. Days from medieval times. Yeah. Um, but these ones are quite huge. Yeah, they're, they're, they're quite They're found big, all they? over, by the way. I've had a little look. They're found all over UK and everywhere. But yeah. they're not not all as big as this. And that one's bigger than you, that one down there. Yeah, that one's huge. That looks, I don't know, if maybe, is that a new one? Do you think someone's made that? I don't know, I don't think so. Because it looks so. a little bit... Christine, don't I don't know, it's probably uh, 
Yeah, it does look old, Diane. Do you think? Yeah. Look how it's uh, been carved out. So they would put people in here. With a cushion, apparently. With a cushion, and, and uh, leave them to, ro to rot. Decompose. Decompose. And the holes would let all the stuff out. So yeah, all, all the the whole so it would seep into the ground, wouldn't it? Yeah. So as your body was rotting, or as the person who was put in here, as their body was rotting, uh, they would seep through the holes. Then that's when they would probably get all the insects climbing through, like worms, maggots, yeah, and all the other. Ugh. I don't. That's the idea I don't like about being uh, buried. Having uh, all those insects crawling through your body. Yeah, I think it's 1100s, isn't it? Yeah. St. James's, uh, 1100 uh, time period. So, uh, another hamphropod here as well. So, it looks like for a, a, a smaller person. I, I'm going to try and get in one again. Uh, I have uh, stood in that one before when we've been here. I've got a coffin on the on the floor, it's a sensor, so if anything walks in front of it or goes inside it, it's going to go off. Oh, isn't it warm? It is warm. Right. I've actually been inside here for weddings and christenings. I've never been inside this church. Do you know what? When I was walking around taking pictures today, and I thought I heard noises coming from inside, like somebody was moving something inside. Look how small the doorways are here. Okay, that's, the that's, line. that's, that's me, isn't it? Yeah, it so, so you just got to think how small people me. must have been in those days. My size. Yeah. So Literally, yeah. My size. Well, it's probably. Like yeah, yeah, you look like a hobbit. Are you from the Shire? No, yeah, Munchkinland. Mm. So people must have been a lot more smaller back in them days, uh, in height, compared to uh, how people are now. People are pretty tall, most people are anyway, apart from you, Diane. Oh, thank you. you. You're a hobbit. I'm a uh, Munchkin from Munchkinland. Room. You got some mystery? I want some mystery. Hey? I want some. Oh, you want some mystery? I want some. There must be something going off like a concert or something nearby because we can hear. Oh, there's the club, club down there, isn't there? No, it's, it's, it's Yeah, you know, down there, down there, and then you Golf, go down the cricket pitch. Yeah, yeah it might be coming, um, there might be something happening at cricket pitch. <coughs> I wonder my daughter's gone to a wedding today. I'm not sure it's something to do with the cricket. Might be. Ooh, might be yeah. something to do with that. What itself, Martin? Yeah. Is uh. Is dates back to Norman times, and it appears in the Doomsday Book in 1086, called Wad or Waif. Well, you want to face me? Okay. So it was called Wad or Waif. Now we found this out when we went to Wath Woods. I thought it was Wath as well. Right? Yeah, Waif. Waif. Yeah, there's several names they were given. Um, so the uh, so it was a junction of the old Doncaster Bonds in Rotherham Pontifact Roads. So there must have been an old road here that led up to Pontifact. Probably trading roads. Mm, probably, yeah. The latter of a branch of Ryken Street, north of the town, was a ford across the River Dern. The mm -hmm. name has been linked to the Latin for Old North, Barth, ford of a wading place. The town received a royal charter in 1312 and 1313. So that's about the markets. Yeah. So they could do with the Tuesday market and an annual two-day fair um, that they could do. They revived that market in 1814. I wonder if that's good have had something to do, to do with Spofforth as well, because you remember yeah, we, we had the same, we had the same, same thing that they had history. to get permission and all that. Uh, was it the Earls or yeah. something? And do you know where um, that bridge? 
bridge. Um, the bridge in Sheffield that we go to, Arnton Bridge, where the monks and monastery were. There were, there were links to that and they had to get permission off the monks, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Memory serves right to hold uh, their own markets. Can't remember the bridge. Uh, the Stocksbridge bypass the bridge thing. Oh, yeah. That way. It's all, all linked that they had to have it. Mm. And there was a pottery at Newhill, mm -hmm. um, which links to pottery rockery, ponds. Uh, pottery ponds. Yeah. Coal mining. Also, yeah. see a railway. Yeah. And the the uh, uh, brewery as well. Yeah. What was it? Um, I can't remember what it's really oh, called now. I'm, I'm just coming to notable people anyway. Mm. Work. Anthony Arkwright, a spree killer. Let's mm. bypass him quickly. A street killer. A spree killer. Oh, I'd like to know about that. He was born in 1967 and was convicted in 1989 of murdering pe three people in 1988. In what? Okay. okay. David Brett, a show business biographer born in Paris, was adopted into a family spur here, attended grammar school here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rob Darber, who did the script writer for the Ken Loach from The Navigators. Uh, actor who does the horrible histories, Simon Farnbrace from here. William Haig, Baron of Haig on Richmond. Oh, it was a Conservative Party. Yeah. Oh, Is he William. from Wolf? Yeah, William Makes. Yeah. William Makes from Wolf? Yeah, went to Wolf Comp. Oh, bloody hell, I never knew that. Yeah. There's a poet that was born in Sheffield, he lived here for a while. Uh, James Montgomery. Well, was there? Montgomery Hall. Yeah, there's a few um, people mm. there, but I can't find out about the uh, church. Let's look at this one. Because okay. when we were talking to the gentleman that we were next door, he said that we're this way, well, at 1100s? Yeah, I think 1100s, he said, didn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, St. James's Church has been here. Oh, here we are. Not all of it is of the it. original. I found it. Uh, so, yeah, it was this one. Dates back to Saxon times. Mm -hmm. So it was in the Doomsday Book. It was this one that I found. I didn't think it was this one. Yeah. Because it's called the Old Saints, which St. James's. So it was 1145 to 1150, went Norman's area. Put the tower and the arch on in, in 1150. Let's be a bit louder. I said the, it was 1145 to 1150, and this, it was a Saxon church, and then they put a Norman tower on. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's good. Then there's a Lady Chapel, so I wonder if that's inside. 1230, the Lady Chapel was enlarged in 1290 to 1295, and in 1305 to 1320, the early English South Island chancel arch was added. So it's been added on to yeah. uh, 1360 now. That um, Steve from next door, he said that um, Montgomery Hall is higher up than yeah. this is on the actual. Um, ground where it would have been, yeah. and it, and the town hall is slightly higher. Mm. Isn't it? Because yeah. it goes down. Really yeah. Well, we went to the cellar, into the cellars. Mm, you can yeah, see the uh, original. Uh, oh yeah, there's a floor. You know, because the wall, the the street walls are actually a part of the building now. Yeah. So it's quite good that. Oh yeah, it talks about the um, the sundial. Yeah, the sundial. The creed and the, the Lord's Prayer and a sundial, which has been removed in the 1970s due to stone erosion and whatnot. But there is one up front, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Unless they changed it and put, uh, put a new one on. Yeah, maybe. an up to date one. I'm not going to go too much because, you know what, I'm like, I'll die. <coughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's good to. Uh, I know, but I go down a rabbit hole when I do that. Yeah. And then stop boring everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's sandstone built from. Saxon times. So we're going to uh, put some equipment then down here and see if we can get anything from mm. these <coughs> amphipods. Mm. See if we we can get some activity from here. Mm. So just remember everybody that somebody would have laid in here uh, on the ground, not stood up, because uh, they would have been laid on the ground and people would have been put in here. Uh, and uh, uh, We suspect that uh, a lid would have been put on top. 
and the bodies would have just been left to rot and then when the, it was just bone they would then take the bone out and bury it so we're going to get some equipment and uh, we're going to give it uh, a try what should we try some REM pods yep I've got one I've got a REM pod I don't know if it's a noisy one or not yep we've got, we got flushy balls okay do we need any K2 meters could try them Waste time doing temperature gun out here. Uh, it's too warm. And the temperature's going to change. Uh, anyway, so 2k2 meters. They always get left on. People don't switch them off. What about one inside? Yeah. Well, that works. Yeah. It looks like you're playing marbles, Diane. I, I just walk in front of it. Is it going to hold? That's the uh, that's the thing. Oh. Let me see if I can find. And I, there you go. Oh, there you go. I've done it. This one, this one's just a cast with me. Yeah, yeah. So it's just to get down anywhere. Yeah, I got your K2 meter. Is that? Are you putting that one on? Um. Okay, batteries might want changing. It's a good job I, uh, I charged all those batteries up. Yep. Oh, this is a nice one. That's got no sound, so yeah, that'll that's do. That's a good one. That's a good. So this K2 meter is good enough. Where's my phone? Phone's there. So let me just take that off there. All right. So yeah, on the on the step, a good idea. Just in case anybody my size wants yeah. to. Do you want? Oh, yeah, it's waste time. You have to You've got your phone on. So, who's asking out? That music's getting louder. It's now quarter past. Everybody, quarter past nine. That's what I miss by not living on a main, main, on a main road. Oh yeah. Because I used to obviously I'm at, live up top where Royal Marshall. So my legs are killing me already. Yeah, I loved it. Do you just want to hold that? I'm going to uh, actually grab my chair. Okay. Ooh, we've gone dark. We've gone dark. Well, Martin's us anyway. So, is anybody here with us that wishes to communicate with us? That wants to talk to us? We mean no harm and no disrespect. We were just wondering if there's anybody here that would like to come and chat. Is anybody attached to the stone coffin there? Ah. Is anybody yeah, me. Chat. I'm going to leave that there. Saying that your phone's on, isn't it? So do we have anybody here wishing to communicate with us? My name's Martin. My name's Diane. We're here to communicate. We're here to prove the life, uh, to prove that life goes on after death. Would you like to come forward and come and speak to us? Like I said, we mean no harm or no disrespect. We're just interested in you, your life, how you lived, what happened, history. Um, it's church dates from the Saxon times, 1100. Any, um, anyone here from? Might have used these coffins. The winter, the winter being called on for pods in in the old days. Is it? Coffins. Yeah, stone coffins or something. And obviously there would have been the, the wooden ones. So they did add wooden ones as well. Yeah. <coughs> Would well, you pasty one of these uh, stone coffins? Uh, if you was, can you come and show us a sign that she was that you was? 
by touching any of these devices on the floor. We've got some nice uh, glass balls that you can touch. They won't recognise. They'll uh, just let us know that you're here. Maybe you could touch the balls. Uh, the, the, the balls and uh, let us know that uh, you was placed in one of these. When you passed away. <coughs> There's got to be a summit, a great on there, on this summit. There's got to be a summit on. Come on, please, come and, sh come and show us a sign that you're here that you would like to come and communicate with us. We respectfully ask you to come forward. Question for you, I was wondering if you were, were you alive at the same time as next door when it was the hall, you know, it's the town hall now that's been added on to, but before that, where there was two um, buildings there and stables. Two cottages, weren't there? Yeah, two cottages, yeah. yeah. Were you were around then. That was for the maids and butlers that uh, worked at Woff Town Hall, weren't it? So all the awesome cabbages would have come up that way, and they very look look very stunning as uh, they was driving up the uh, up the drive. Can you remember that? Was that something in your timeline when you were alive? Did you Yes, did you take part in that, in uh, the throwing of the bread? When that came into the poor? I, I don't know. Something like that. Is that what you did? Did you do that? Did you throw bread from the tower? What did it symbolise? Did it symbolise uh, uh, giving food to the poor and, and things? Is that what it was? I'm going to have to look into that because I've forgot the details now, but Steve actually yeah, told us. It's, uh, we, yeah, we did look into it, didn't we, when we were last year at Woff yeah. Town Hall. Uh, yeah. But uh, this, we're getting old, so as brains are not as, uh, it's not as good as what they used to be. Oh, man, I can hear a medieval police car. <laughs> yep, there you go. She's gone past. So... If can you see our time <laughs> compared to your time? Has things changed? Can you see how things have changed over over the years? So possibly you could have been dead at least seven hundred years. No, five hundred years, maybe longer. All you have to do is uh, show us a sign that you're here. Touch one of those devices that are on the ground. <laughs> 